On January the 20th, at exactly 10 o'clock GMT, ESA's comet-chasing mission Rosetta will wake up from its deep space hibernation before reaching the target it has been cruising towards for a decade, Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko In 2011, the spacecraft was put into deep space hibernation for the coldest, most distant leg of the journey. Once it has warmed up its navigation instruments, it will spin down to point its main antenna at Earth, a proof of life for the ground team. The first images of churyumov gerasimenko are expected in May. Closer in, Rosetta's images and measurements of the comet's gravity, mass and shape will provide further details of its anatomy and the role of comets in the evolution of the solar system. Later in the autumn, Rosetta's Philae lander will make the first attempt ever to land on a comet. Once its three legs are firmly anchored to the ground, Philae will send us a panorama of its surroundings and take samples of the comet's surface. 2014 will also be a busy year for Europe's launcher family. Having successfully deployed its payloads during its second flight in 2013, Europe's small launcher Vega is ready for more action. In the spring, it will take the Kazakh DZZHR high-resolution remote sensing satellite to an altitude of about 750 kilometers. It will be Vega's first commercial launch. Later in October, Vega will launch ESA's experimental re-entry vehicle IXV into a suborbital path, testing new European re-entry technologies during its hypersonic and supersonic flight phases before it splashes into the Pacific Ocean. In spring, still from French Guiana, Europe's mid-sized launcher Soyuz will lift the first mission of Copernicus. Sentinel-1A will provide all-weather, day and night radar images to be used for emergency responses, marine and land monitoring, civil security and climate studies. Like Vega and Soyuz, Europe's heavy lift launcher Ariane is also getting ready for an important year. In June it will carry Georges Lemaitre, Europe's fifth and last automated transfer vehicle up to the ISS. And the ISS will see two new European astronauts in 2014. After Luca Palmitano in 2013, the next to fly from the class of 2009 will be Alexander Gerst, a German who will serve as flight engineer. He will leave Earth in late May to return six months later. As soon as he comes back, Italian ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti will take over on another long duration mission to the ISS. Galileo, Europe's satellite navigation program, will see intense activity from mid-2014, with the launches from Europe's spaceport in Kourou of six new satellites. This should allow full demonstration of initial Galileo positioning, navigation and timing services. And as important as what will happen in space is what will be decided down on Earth. ESA's next ministerial meeting in December in Luxembourg must take decisions on the future of Europe's next generation launcher Ariane 6 and the continued development of Ariane 5 ME, the adapted version of Europe's heavy launcher.